I really love the way you guys are looking right now. <laughs> I just communicated with you in Turkish Sign Language. It's the language that deaf people use in Turkey. And I was just like you guys when I went to a wedding of two deaf people for the first time in my life. You know how when you go inside ceremony rooms, each other. You can see that some of them are happy, some of them are questioning and curious. You can tell that well, how they feel from their bodies, but the, you don't really understand what they're talking about. There's like a round group of people speaking around 20, nearly no sound at all. It's so interesting. Everyone's communicating with each other. There's as much <coughs> conversation going on. You can see that some of them are mad, getting mad at each other. You can see that some of them are happy, some of them are questioning and curious. You can tell that well, how they feel from their bodies, but the, you don't really understand what they're talking about. There's like a round group of people speaking, around 20 people. And then I realized that even my whisper sound was too loud, and I realized I was not using my voice at all, I'm just saying. I only started using my body to communicate. <coughs> it, was, it was like a, one of the best experiences that I And you, it was the first time I was literally walking through a conversation. And I ended up saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then I realized that even my whisper sound was too loud. And I realized I was not using my voice at all, I'm just saying. I only started using my body to communicate. <coughs> it, was, it was like a, one of the best experiences that I ever had. Like, he can't call his friends because he's, he has this disability. And then I realized that he was calling the lady right next to me. So I touched her shoulder and say, that guy over there. She said, they're clapping. Because they were so happy that the bride and groom said yes. Imagine everyone clapping like crazy, but there's no sound at all. It's, it really makes like you have goosebumps. Another thing that was very interesting was there was this guy at the very end of the room. He was waving at someone, trying to get their attention. And I was like, oh, you know, so sad. Like, he can't call his friends because He's, he has this disability. And then I realized that he was calling the lady right next to me. So I touched her shoulder and say, that guy over there is but language classes when I was at university. It really gave me a lot of um, viewpoints. It was a very, very good experience for me. Ability. <coughs> like, they have superpowers. It was, it was wonderful. And that really made me question what disability was and what ability was. I am half deaf. I have hearing loss on my right ear, and that's the reason why I took Turkish sign language classes when I was at university. It really gave me a lot of um, viewpoints. It was a very, very good experience for me. how you say G, but in Ankara this is how you say it. And most of the words come like we have English, Turkish, German as spoken languages. Why? Because we come from different geographies, we have this different historic events, we have different social contacts and so on, so the language keeps on changing. It's the same with sign language. You have the Turkish sign language, it doesn't have anything to do with the American sign language, which is completely different from the British Sign Language. And just like you have different dialects within Turkey, the spoken one, the Turkish, uh, spoken Turk Turkish language, it's the same with Turkish Sign Language. In Istanbul, this is how you say G, but in Ankara, this is how you say it. And most of the words come from... The first class that we went to, I start signing my name, S-E-L-E-N. 
But imagine I do this the whole time when I want to say Salen or when someone asks to say Salen, it doesn't work that way. So you're giving names. For Ankara, this is what you would do. Because all the dentists back then were living in Ankara and they still keep this to say the capital of Turkey. Guess what this one is? Denizli. Denizli. It's Istanbul. Because of Sultan's hat. It's, it's like really beautiful. So the first class that we went to, I start signing my name. S-E-L-E-N. But imagine I do this the whole time when I want to say Selen or when someone asks to say Selen. It doesn't work that way. So you're given names. This is what they did. You, it's, it's like really wonderful. It's learned very quickly, really, really quickly. We had a blind friend who was learning Turkish Sign Language with us. And it was really interesting to watch how she developed, how they said Selen. This was Selen, because I have this tiny little birthmark over here. They thought that that was the most significant thing about me. So every time they wanted to call me Selen, yeah, I know, you never saw it, but they see everything. This is what they did. It's, it's like really wonderful. It's learned very quickly, really, really quickly. We had a blind friend who was learning Turkish Sign Language with us. And it was really interesting to watch how she developed. This is how we did. Um, in order to understand us, she had to touch our hands to understand how we were signing. So she was very slow when it came to receiving the messages. But when it came to giving her messages, she was the quickest one. Because whatever sign she learned, she never forgot. And she was the fastest signer in the class. There's a Turkish saying that goes like, one language, one person, two languages, two people. It actually means the more people you will know, uh, the more languages you will know, the more people you can interact with, the more cultures you can know. And it tells you that you have better ability to perceive the world if you know a lot of languages. This is the same thing that happens after I start to learn Turkish Sign Language. I learned how to see the world in a different way. I also learned how to use my body to speak when I could not use words at all. And I learned that we really have so much to share with each, with each other if we remove our boundaries and let our disabilities turn into new abilities. Thank you. <laughs>